Hi, this is Delphina from the Frontier Women. I have not been recording for a while. Um, I've been struggling with severe fatigue. And I just want to emphasize that fatigue is unrefreshing sleep. And it's where there's a weakness. And no matter how much sleep you get, and it's not about being tired, because being tired feels a whole lot better than fatigue. It's almost like a real bad serious flu, but without the fever. And your head just wants to go, oh. So, today I feel better. And I drank some lemon water and some essential oils. Took a real good bath and decided, you know what, since I had the motivation, I'm going to go hike up by the Oregon Mountains. Just a little one, just to get it started. And during the time, I already went to Nashville and back. I had a particular pain, and this probably was stress in my muscles. Um, people say, oh, you know, just like, oh, the stress. But sometimes, you can't identify. And maybe I've been loading up on a ton of caffeine, a lot of carbs, a lot of sugar, and those cravings were going up. But not that there was, if those believe me or not, there's a spiritual battle. There was something going on that I could not understand, I could not do for myself, but pray and cry. Maybe ask one or two friends to help pray for me, but I'm out here by myself. And those of you who have family and friends around you, you know, cherish that. It's really neat. Um... And for those who suffer with chronic fatigue syndrome, I feel you. Um, I went through the worst of it between 2009 and 14. And it's something I never want to go through again. I had um, an immune dysfunction going on. And of course it reactivates things that are in me that are sleeping. Your body, the immune system does a wonderful job at keeping a lot of things asleep that you have been exposed and it just stays there for the rest of your life. And uh, trying to find hope and a glimpse through it all is hard. And it does take sometimes friends or people, I wish I had someone around me to like jerk me around and take care of me, but I didn't. Not yet. <laughs> and um, your world becomes real small. And then you start admiring other people right outside your bubble. And you admire that they could get out, that they could go to the store, that they have friends, that they could ride a bike, that they could work, they could do all kinds. And you start looking from the inside to the out. And it's horrible. But I remember during that time, I laid on the couch a lot. I couldn't even sit up old surgeries and all that wouldn't heal too well on my back hip. I know there's times I would push myself to go walking down the road in the summer days. And then I'll try to push myself to go walk indoor rec. It really couldn't get me to the gym. No matter what vitamins I took, what I did, nothing worked. Except for my Indian friend who brought um, so little Indian spices in her food and I think some of that, besides turmeric, adding turmeric, might have boosted up something in me that my body said, hey, I got some help, this is what I need. But plus, I had a lot of prayer. I really had prayer from one group. I broke down and cried, and I was preparing for my death, because I felt death right out my door. There was no hope for anything but me just to be vegetated to my room and barely make it to the bathroom and shower. Um let y'all know don't let go of hope but don't let go of hope in Jesus Christ he will always be there you may gripe and moan and kick and scream and it happens I'm just blessed to be right up to this point I want to show you my scenery and there's Las Cruces and the Oregon Mountains are right there over my shoulder um I'm still enjoying living here and um, 
this warmer weather, cause today's probably our last warm day. It's probably about 71, 74. So I'm able not to wear a coat or winter things yet. But the weather's really fitting for my body. And I love the atmosphere here. So, all said and done, <laughs> you got this wind in my face. I just want to let you know that Frontier Woman has not totally shut down. And I hope and pray for y'all out there that nothing will shut down for you. The things that you dream and desire. Do not stop dreaming. It's what could happen. Love you. God bless. Delphine, you have